Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a custom snap code with an image in the middle, whether that's your logo, uh, a headshot, whatever photo you want to be in the middle of your snap code, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's free, everything I'm gonna show you, all the, the different websites you need to do this are all free. Uh, and this is how to do it on your desktop. So if you wanna do it on your mobile device, then you're gonna to want to uh, go to YouTube and look up this guy, the Mike MC. Create your own custom snap code. He shows you how to do it all on your mobile phone, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to show you how to do it on your desktop. My name is Dustin Brome. I am a real estate agent, an entrepreneur, and a tech. Or I'm sorry, a, a marketing guy here in Salt Lake City. I am the founder of SearchSaltLake.com, and it's a real estate and local info website here in Utah. And I'm also the host of the Salt Lake of Salt Lake Insider, which is a new show on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So check that out. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. So here's the deal. First thing you're going to do to get your snap code as a PNG file, you're going to want to go to snapchat.com on your desktop. Go to Snapchat. Okay, so you're going to scroll down to the very bottom under community. You see snap codes. Click on snap codes. All right, you're going to log in. Once you log in, there's just going to be the option to bo boom, download it. It's going to download it as a PNG file, and the background's not going to be black like it would be if you downloaded it from your phone. And it's going to be transparent around the edges too. So it will look like this. I'm sorry, without my headshot in the middle it will look like this when you first download it. So now what we need to do is take this white background and turn it transparent. So how do we do that? You're gonna to want to go to lunapic.com. All right, lunapic.com, totally free. Just type in lunapic.com, go there. You're gonna to want to then um, you can upload the file first, or you can just go to edit and go down to edit, go down to transparent. Cool. Then it'll let you upload your file. Choose that. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Mine's in my downloads. that. All right, so then it uploads my new snap code that I just downloaded from snapchat.com. Let's see here. So what it says is make image background transparent. Click on the color you'd like to make transparent. So all you do is click here on the white in the middle. Click there. Cool. That's it. Now you see the checkered background there and also around the edges that means that that is transparent so the only thing you see here uh, that's not transparent is the white and the black and this is transparent so this can go on top of whatever photo or logo you want to have all right so then you're going to want to save this and it saves it as a transparent png file all right so we have that sorry about the lighting guys Okay, so that's now in my downloads folder. Now you're gonna to want to go to canva.com, all right? Hopefully you guys have been using Canva. It's a great free graphic design um, website and you know you can create all sorts of cool stuff here. As you can see, it saved all my graphics I've done in the past. I have all sorts of stuff saved so I can go back and edit it or whatever. So um, I'm gonna, since this is a perfect square, at the very top it has this pre-made 800 picks by 800 picks template called social media. Just click on that. All right. So then, then we want to go to uploads and we're going to want to upload that new transparent PNG snap code that we just created on Lunapic. All right. So do upload a new photo right here. 
and we find, let's see, I'm gonna go back to where I saved it. Do, 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 do. Probably should have changed the file name, but there it is, right there. Open it. Okay, and then that downloads it right here. Once that's ready, you just click on it. Boom, Canva puts it right in the middle there. Um, we can stretch this to meet the edges of that square exactly. All right, so we've done that. This is transparent, so if you take the background and turn it, let's see. So you go over here to background. If you just want it to be a solid color, that's cool. You could do it blue, you could do it whatever, and then just you know put a logo over the top of that blue if you want. So you go back to your uploads. I have my Search Salt Lake logo. So if I wanted to, I just click on that, resize it. You know, I could do something like that. Or I'm gonna show you how to put an image back there. So I'm gonna take this background that's blue and delete it. All right, now you take your headshot and I have a headshot right here that I uploaded. But first, if I do the headshot, it's gonna show around the edges. So I need to find what's called a frame. So go to elements over here on the left, then click on frames. And I'm gonna look for a perfectly round one. So you're gonna scroll down this first one. That's not the one you want because this green bar in the middle is for text or whatever, you don't want that. You just want a plain old image, round image frame. This is it right here, click that, and that puts it right here. All right, so now you um, center your snap code, then you wanna stretch this frame so that it completely covers up the white ghost. All right, so there's that. Completely covers up the ghost. Now, see right here, I have the frame selected and then there's these options. And one of them is, is back. You're gonna wanna click on back and that puts it back behind this layer on top, the snap code layer. All right, so then I take this. Hang on one sec here. So now I'm gonna go back though and put this snap code in the back. I'm going to drag my photo here. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads. Sorry, the resolution's not so good on this, but I'm just using my iPhone. Here we go. So when you drag your photo into that frame, it captures it, all right? Then you double click it and then you can, you can center it like that. Click the check mark for OK. So there's that. Now to see and make sure that it's centered, click on uh, this snap code background again. You're gonna click forward to bring that up above there. And there you go. Now I can adjust it and center it and all that just by doing the, you know, putting that snap code on the back again, double clicking this, moving it over. First off, I'm going to enlarge it there. Then I can do that. Click OK, bring that, fill that uh, snap code forward again. There we go. So that's how you do that. And then just make sure everything's perfectly centered. And then in Canva, you go up here, title it whatever you want. So we'll do snap code. All right. And that's what it's going to, the file name that it's going to save. So you go to download gives you a few different options. You're gonna want the high quality PNG, boom. That way it'll keep, um, it'll keep the transparent edges, which is cool. Then it saves it, boom, it goes right down here. There it is. Open it up, bing, bing, boom. Just like that. And then you can put that up as your profile picture on social media or whatever. Of course, you can put any image you want, a logo, whatever. So best of luck, guys. Hope that helps. Enjoy.